Over the past couple years, I've had the opportunity uh, on a number of occasions to see some first-class uh, live bass rigs up close. And from what I've seen these days, you know, a great uh, preamp and direct box for bass guitar is standard. As a bassist, if you want to be versatile, it's something you've just got to have in your possession. More and more bass guitarists these days, uh, whether they're using an amplifier or not, are running a direct signal, and many of these players use the exact same box in the studio. And I gotta say, you know, there are a lot of great preamp DIs for bass out there, uh, but to me, Fender's new design is nothing short of revolutionary. Fender has come along and absolutely changed the game. Fender's new Downtown Express pedal um, is not only a preamp with a great EQ in it, it's not only a direct box for bass, it also is a compressor and it's an overdrive. It's everything you need uh, to amplify your bass sound running direct. So guys, it's Rumblin' Man coming to you today from Florida. I uh, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today. Uh, today we are indeed checking out the new for 2019 Fender Downtown Express uh, bass guitar preamp DI uh, and multi effects pedal. This is an incredible unit. Uh, what I think they've done is very, very smart and very revolutionary. Um, I've reviewed a number of products on my channel that are, uh, you know, boxes, direct boxes for bass and preamps for bass, but to me, this one just takes the cake. I mean, it's everything you need uh, for a simple, direct bass setup and it's right here in this beautiful box. I mean the packaging is excellent. This is actually uh, gold anodized aluminum uh, and the great thing about that is that you know what else was gold anodized aluminum? Well uh, the pick guards on 50 style P bases and uh, you know old school strats and tellies. So to me to have a gold anodized aluminum uh, casing and housing for this not only does that make it extremely durable but it makes it very very true to the Fender standard. Uh, this pedal is also adorned with absolutely gorgeous LED lights uh, that you can turn on and off with the flip of a toggle switch. So obviously when you first take it out of the box just like all of Fender's other new pedals it's like wow. This pedal to me absolutely uh, helps you dial in pro-sounding uh, bass guitar tones, professional tone, whether you're in the studio or whether you're on a live stage, whether you're using an amp or whether you're just sending a direct signal uh, into the board and that's it. Uh, this has got you covered. You know, on the back, uh, you know, we have a quarter inch output in case you want to run it into an amp. We have a tuner out, but we have an XLR out. So if you're playing in a church where you're running direct or you're playing in you know, large venues and running a direct signal to the board. Uh, you need a pedal like this in order to be a versatile basis these days. Uh, that is, if you're working in a lot of different venues and studios and contexts, you need something that does what this does. And to me, there's nothing out there that does it better than Fender. And in this review today, uh, I'm going to actually, in just a few moments, take you through a lot of the different sounds that you can get with this thing and show you what some of the knobs and features do on it. Uh, but first, let me go over a couple of the specs with you just so you can know uh, what you're hearing before you hear it. So for the preamp aspect, we have uh, this pedal right here, which activates the equalizer. And that's going to give you your standard middle, treble, uh, and bass EQs. We also have a very convenient mute switch over here. And then you head down and you have an overdrive, which is excellent that there's a built-in overdrive. If you don't have uh, a bass overdrive pedal that you like, or if you do have one, whatever the case may be, or maybe you'd like to have that feature available but you don't use it a lot, this is great because they've got a very nice bass overdrive in here uh, 
uh, three knobs to tailor with, and then you have your compressor. And I really like the compressor on this. Also, we have a master volume for the overall sound. So really right there, you just have a ton of functionality. And then you can um, change the signal path in a number of ways. I mean, this is not only you know a box with lots of features on it, it's very versatile. So like I mentioned a minute ago, uh, this lets you dial in very professional uh, tone. It's very articulate. Real quick, let's listen uh, to this Fender Ventera Jazz Bass in a mix uh, running through the Downtown Express pedal and see how it could kind of sound for a studio situation. I know you want to hear more uh, of how all these different features sound, so let's plug this thing up real quick uh, and let's do a little sound demo. So what I'm going to kind of do now is I'm going to walk you through some of the sounds that you can get uh, with this pedal. For the demo today, we are going to use Fender's new for 2019 Ventera Series uh, 1970s Jazz Bass. Real quick, before I turn on uh, the EQ or the compressor or anything, let's hear just the bass by itself run through the pedal. As you can see, it's a pretty quiet signal, and this is really going to be things up. Let's go in and turn on the equalizer. It has the lows at about noon, the mids at about noon, and the highs cranked up a little bit as I was doing some really cool funky jazz bass stuff with it. Let's see how it sounds. Alright, so as we can hear, uh, it's a very nice signal. I could stand to hear a little more volume, so I'm going to crank the master a little bit. Treble down to noon here, and let's crank the bass up a little bit, let you hear that. We could even get like a big muffled bass tone if I uh, take the tone down a little bit on the bass and play through uh, just the neck pickup. On the other end of the spectrum, you know, you have treble. So if, let's say we do just the bridge pickup of the bass, tone on full, uh, neck pickup off, and then let's uh, dial back the bass tone a little bit, and then let's crank treble. It's cool, and even if we throw in some mids with it and bring the bass up a hair, So let's move past the EQs a little bit. We'll keep the EQs on. What I'll do here is I'll keep things mostly flat, but I just want to boost treble a little bit just because I really like that high end snap coming from a jazz bass. You initiate the compressor, and uh, just with the settings flat at noon, let's kind of see how that sounds. I love a good bass compressor. You know, I've, I've tried the uh, MXR, you know, compressor for bass. I've tried the Boss compressor for bass. Um, I want to try the Aguilar uh, compressor for bass sometime. But honestly, to me, some of the beautiful compression sounds you can get with this Downtown Express pedal, to me, if I were 
you know, playing live, I think that this is honestly all I would need. Um, the compressor is nice. It's simple. It's not a very complicated compressor. You have the blend knob, you have the threshold knob, and you have the gain knob. So if we're a little frustrated with our gain or volume, as you can see, I've got the master turned up pretty high. But if we're using the compressor, we can crank up the gain right here. So this will be a little louder. <laughs> keep it a little more level with how it sounded a little while ago. So like if we were to crank the compression. Like that's a good attack time there. You can really hear it kicking in the minute I start playing, especially if we crank it a little further. So what that's really going to do is it's going to kind of keep your playing level. If the person playing is doing, you know, this, and then they start going. Then a compressor is going to kind of, it's going to keep all that pretty level and it's going to keep it from, you know, being some huge surprise to the sound man. Uh, and if that's something you want to do with your own playing so that you can throw some finger stuff and some slap stuff in together. It doesn't really blow up your gain all of a sudden when you start playing differently. So really cool, you know, if you don't have a compressor pedal you're using on the regular or even if you're just wanting to condense your setup you know you can use compression if you want with this thing or you can simply turn it off and let's check out the overdrive So it's interesting, um, I'm kind of a student of bass overdrive to a degree, but it's never something I've used a whole lot in the genres of music I play in, uh, and even as a producer with production, it's, it's pretty rare that I actually need it. But this really gives you a, a nice range of gain structure to use with this built-in overdrive here. So I know a lot of bass players who will run kind of a drive pedal just to get a little bit of grit while they're playing, especially for, you know, P bass or neck pickup stuff. And that's a really cool thing. Um, I think it is nice to have the little grit. And then obviously you have the other end of the spectrum in which you just kind of, you know, crank it. <laughs> that is pretty cool, even though I don't do that a whole lot myself. Uh, that is really neat. Now to turn on the compressor, here's what we have. This is a really cool feature. So we got a toggle switch here um, that allows you to do a couple of things. Right now, the toggle switch is set to where the compression uh, would come before the overdrive in the signal chain. And that sounds like this. So at that point, your bass gets compressed and the EQ gets uh, compressed, but the overdrive does not get compressed. What happens if you want it the other way around? If you'd say, Rumble Man, you know, really, I kind of like to have the drive compressed. Well, it's simple. With the flip of this toggle switch right here, you can actually choose to have uh, the overdrive set before the compressor so that the overdrive gets compressed. So really cool that they give you the flexibility to do that. So then obviously we have cool features on the top of the pedal as well. We have the signal path, uh, lift and ground feature that you find on most direct boxes, which we don't need to use right now because I'm not currently running uh, XLR. Uh, we have a tuner out and then we do have the LED on and off switch. So if you don't want all the LEDs on, if you know, you're in church and you're set up in a place where it might be distracting, 
then boom, you can just turn them off. But quite honestly, if I were using this pedal, I'd have them on at all times because they look so cool. Not only do these pedals sound incredible as you can hear, they look absolutely killer as well. So a big thanks to Allie and everybody at Fender uh, for allowing me to uh, review these amazing pieces of equipment. I'm very grateful and I'm definitely a Fender fan for life. Uh, so very cool. If you want to go on and get your Fender Downtown Express pedal for bass guitar today, I've got a link in the description of this video. Check it out where you can click on it and you can order yours today. There's even an option in there for fast free shipping where you could have it at your doorstep a lot quicker than you might think. Also, don't forget to check out my full review of the Fender uh, Ventera Series 70's Jazz Bass uh, because in that review video I also uh, used this device and uh, featured a lot of clips using it as well. It's always God bless you guys and thanks so much for checking out this video today. Uh, if you enjoyed it, if you liked it or got something out of it, please go on and give me a thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos like this one, then I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the Rumbling Man channel because I'm going to keep reviewing products and releasing content for bassists, uh, guitarists, uh, whoever needs content about great uh, music related equipment, uh, you're going to get it right here on this channel. And we're going to have tutorials and a lot of great videos here as well. In fact, not only subscribe, I encourage you to hit the little bell by the subscribe button uh, so that you can get notified like that when I come out with a new video. You also have some options where you can support this channel if you like the work we're doing here uh, on PayPal and Patreon, but there's never any pressure to do that as uh, I just want you to be blessed by the content uh, and hope that you can take something from it, get something out of it, and uh, I'm really hoping that you can get your hands on a Fender Downtown Express pedal. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.